Thanks for being here. This is Dave Lawrence from the California Type Foundry. And this is Adam from FontLab. Welcome to our FontLab 7 video. The Brush Tool Apply Power Brush to a skeleton contour for live adjustable calligraphic strokes. Control the angle and thickness of the brush and tweak it even after you've drawn. Choose the brush mode in the property bar to decide what type of contours the brush tool should produce. In the simple brush mode, the result of your drawing is immediately converted to closed contours that represent the outline of the brush. Use the contour tool to edit the final contours. In the power brush mode, which is the default, the result of your drawing is an open contour that represents the skeleton of the stroke. This contour has a power brush filter applied. Use the contour tool to edit the skeleton contour, that is the underlying stroke. You can also apply power brush to existing contours that you have drawn using other drawing tools, the rectangle, the Bezier pen tool, the rapid, or the pencil. For that, choose the contour and choose Element Make Power Brush. Use the property bar or the brush panel to edit the size and shape of the brush applied to the stroke even after you have drawn the stroke. Every time you draw a power brush contour, you create a new element that has the skeleton contour and the power brush filter. To convert power brush to final outline contours, select a contour and click the expand button in the property bar or the brush panel, or choose element expand filters from the menu. grab the brush tool. And so now we can also see where the brush panel comes in. So because that can adjust, so this can adjust the angle and you see how we're adjusting here and also the size. You can also hold down control and go down or up and, and sort of wiggle this however you want. Okay, anyway, so this is my size and let's just, we're at a 21. So let's get it a little bit bigger there. Okay. So now we're just going to freehand now. So I'm using a mouse, so this is sort of messy. Okay. Okay, there we go. So now that I have this, it's it's still sort of messy. So what I want to do is highlight it. And you can see the difference between it is that instead of having the the strokes around the outside, it has it along the inner thing. So what you want to do you want to try to fix this up while it only has one curve and then you can flatten it and make and make two shapes like we usually have with fonts but this is going to help just have the one stroke and the outline sort of like an illustrator or or, or procreate or whichever program so what we're going to do is simplify this by we're going to first add nodes to extremes so go to contour nodes at extremes and then that's gonna help fix that up somewhat. Then we're gonna highlight again, Command A, and then I'm gonna hit Contour, and I'm gonna hit Simplify. Okay, so that's now simplified at some for us. Uh, we might want to even do some more here. I might adjust this and delete him out, and I might, this is a, a not good shape right there. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is Command A again, Contour, and go down to to harmonize, okay? So that's gonna make it look a little bit better. So now we can see, uh, well, not the best, but uh, but it's it has something there. Let's see if we can, so now if I take this and I adjust this a little bit more, I don't like how it's stringy, or, or maybe we want it more stringy, I don't know. And then um, pull out the size a little bit. Let's see if we can get this looking a little bit better. Um, let's see that, okay. 
So that's that's something there. Uh, this shape we can try to modify by adjusting some of how this is to try to get these sort of kinks out of there. And then if we want, we can go to to so I went to glyph flatten layer. And now it's made it into something like so. So we can now adjust this how we want to get this some of those shapes that we don't want out. So let me just try to do those and see if I can get it looking a little bit better for you. And then I'm gonna select this. I'm going to harmonize. And let's see, this one I would probably push Command D to duplicate, that's an important command. And so that way I can make a sort of ink trap right there and let's see how we look. Okay, so we still have a lot a long ways to go on this, I think. I'm getting too into it now. We need to get to the next slide. Okay, and then we will do one more harmonize to sort of fix up where the contours are. Okay, so that is something that you can make from the brush. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you soon in the next FontLab 7 video.